Hey guys, welcome back. I hope that you're all well. It has been a while since I've showed you what I picked up from Mango and that is because I haven't been picking up anything from Mango. Partly, I looked, I looked spring and their early summer collection and I just, there wasn't even one thing because I was like, yes, I love that. I need to pick up a few pieces. But their new in current summer section, really beautiful pieces one dress in particular that i can't wait to show you um but i'm just gonna get into it because i actually have some pieces from h&m to show you and this is gonna be an exceedingly long haul if i don't just just get hurrying up with it all uh, but as always i'm gonna show you full length what they look like on show you how they feel the quality the fit i'll let you know all of the sizes um, and bits like that and all of the links will be down below but let's get into this order this is a very pleasant surprise. So, I actually thought this was blue when I ordered it online. I obviously wasn't paying much attention, but from the photos, I really thought it was a light blue. It's not, it's a beautiful lilac color, and I'm actually really into this color at the moment. I've been picking up a few pieces. It just, it's so feminine, but at the same time, like not too pretty pretty. And I just adored the style of this dress. So it's a long midi dress. It's got this gorgeous, just one shoulder to the side, really beautifully ruffled. And it comes in with a belt to the front. I love this little circular belt. And then as I said, it's quite long. Actually, I feel like this might be quite a long midi. I'll have to, when I try it on, I'll let you know. It's got a little frill at the bottom. I just thought that this was gonna be so elegant, but at the same time, <laughs> got the bag there um at the same time kind of like something that you could dress up or dress down like i could see myself wearing this one quite casually but at the same time hopefully when we can wearing it a little bit more dressed up out and about and from first impressions it actually feels like quite good quality it looks like it's lined inside which it is and i picked that one up in a uk size 10. i love this dress as soon as i put it on i felt so good there's just one Thing that bugs me and that is that the belt doesn't stay done up so as soon as I tighten it it just loosens because there's no buckle there so I think either I will like just pin it once I have it on or maybe in time if I really wanted to I could put a little buckle on, buckle on there so that it stays stays in shape a little bit more because obviously that's that's like the most flattering part of the dress and I actually love that waistband on it I also just adore the shoulder, the colour is really pretty, the stripe, if you know me, I just, it's never been a stripe that I didn't like. Um, one thing, I wish that it had pockets, it doesn't have pockets, uh, but the frill down the bottom is really, really pretty, it is quite long in length, I am a 5 foot 6 for reference, um, and it's hitting me kind of just above my ankle, so you can quite easily see my shoes there, but um, any longer and I'd definitely class it a little bit of a maxi dress rather than a midi dress that so gorgeous i absolutely love this one next up an accessory little bag actually this is slightly smaller than i thought online but i was looking for a smaller basket bag you may know i picked one up from amazon which oh my gosh i love it's just like that perfect beach or picnic bag that you can fling loads of things in but sometimes they're just too big to be taking out and about on a normal day this one actually really smells you can really smell the um rattan in it it's got a shoulder um a strap so you can put it over your shoulder i love that um, and also one of the main reasons why i like this bag is that it does have a little bag inside the bag um so that you can keep things a little bit more controlled and that is actually by the looks of it it's like stitched right into the bottom so it's not going to come out and also it just makes it a little bit safer especially if you are living in the city it has the uh, nice leather detail to the front there i think that one is quite sweet okay so this is the dress that i was talking about that i absolutely loved of course it's white and it's just it's so pretty i actually got this one in a size 10 which don't know if it, that looks like it's going to be just a little bit too big um i'll have to see when i try it on but it's got this kind of like sea sucker effect actually just that's the wrong way around around um the bust area these really sweet i always feel like these are like butterfly sleeves how gorgeous are they really feminine and pretty and then you've also got that right throughout the bottom of the skirt here oh i hate that's not blowing out on camera but it's like uh, just 
really beautifully done i think this one was a little bit more expensive if i remember it might have been around the 50 pound mark but you can definitely see the quality for it and to be honest usually i'd say the quality of this kind of dress in other stores is like more at the 100 pound mark so pretty good to be able to be getting this on the high street especially just oh that gorgeous fabric so stunning i hope it looks pretty on because this is basically why i fell in love with mango again <laughs> i knew i would but i absolutely adore it absolutely love this dress so much it's just basically my perfect dress all rolled into one i love the little just like sleeve to it i think that that's really like feminine and delicate and just looks gorgeous the skirt is really really nice i quite like how it comes in around the bust here the only thing is is that i should have picked it up in the size eight <laughs> oh i really really hope that it's still in stock because i think that obviously this bit just needs to be that little bit tighter and though I feel like I can get away with it as like quite a free flowing more easy dress in the size up I also feel like obviously it will be best against the size that fits me the best so I'm fingers crossed that they've got this one in size 8 so I'd recommend if you're between sizes going down a size um, or even maybe going down a size to your true size because you want this one to fit quite nicely and it does this part here does give quite a lot so it's not going to be tight on you if you um if you do go down a size oh this is so soft and <laughs> that is so cute oh my gosh i love these um if you're not following the rest of my videos you won't know that we're um renovating at the moment we are doing up our house i love diys i also love being in the garden and um you need some practical clothes for that i saw these dungarees and i'm loving being in dungarees at the moment and I just thought that they were so perfect. So they're little shorts. And I really like the front because um, it kind of makes it not look like those classic dungarees. They're a little bit more modern. Uh, it's got cute little pockets at the back. I just don't know if they're going to be. I don't think they're going to be too short. It's got really big pockets to the side here, which is also quite nice and practical. I just saw this with a gorgeous white t-shirt underneath. Um, by the looks of it, though, you can't adjust these, which may be a bit of a pain. What size did I pick this up in? Size small, um, so this one isn't in UK sizes, it just says size small. And actually this one's sustainable cotton and eco wash. The white dress as well was um, sustainable cotton. And it feels, feels really gorgeous, feels lovely and soft. I feel so at ease and comfortable in these dungarees. Little pointer, I wouldn't wear them with heels, but I'm being lazy and I'm not taking them off as I'm trying things on. It is really comfortable, it's kind of like that outfit that you feel semi lounging around the house you're almost in your pajamas i personally love that um it does come down quite low at the sides as you'll be able to see i've got like a little crop top on underneath and you can just about maybe see a little bit of skin i think usually i'd put something on a little bit longer than that and it's slightly not it's not tight but it's slightly more fitted than i thought it would be when i bought this so i bought it in a size 8 and it fits me absolutely fine but I like imagined it in my head being quite loose fitting, like uh, the linen ones that you may see. It's not like that. It's um, a bit more figure hugging, which I kind of like. Like I don't mind that. It's definitely not too tight on any areas. And I think maybe because of that, it's that little bit more flattering. Now this one looks more beautiful than online, which I always love. Um, again, I picked this one up in a size ten. Let me just take that out. Stop that from ruffling white and the blue how pretty so pretty you've got some really pretty um how many times can i say pretty sleeves and it buttons up the front this one's not like i wouldn't say that it's mini mini but it's definitely like a shorter style dress it's got that really like gorgeous flowy feeling to it and it also does have a belt around it if you're looking at it and you're thinking that just looks a bit bit too flowy and too big um it does tie and I just think it's it's got some lovely details at the back there. It's got like the square square neckline, um, but a little drop V at the front. I love this. I think that that material is so gorgeous, and the print uh, it does look a little bit. Don't know if you can see on the see through side, uh, but we'll we'll check that when I pop it on now. <laughs> this dress is so gorgeous. I feel like I love everything about it. The length is really nice. Um, it's my kind of perfect length for a bit of a more midi dress. I still feel really comfortable in it. Um, it's not just not like that too high, but at the same time, it's not like long and frumpy. The sleeves are really pretty. I love the little v-neck. Um, the tie as well at the front, you can even tie it at the back 
if you want to or the front so that's a little bit more versatile and the buttons do undo so if you wanted to have it that little bit shorter you do also have that option the material looks like it's semi gonna crease but lovely i can actually see me wearing this a little bit um for an evening maybe an evening out as well as day to day just casually with a basket bag and sandals and then last but not least, this one I got in a UK size small. It doesn't actually give the UK size, it just says size small. Again, this is sustainable cotton. Seems like Mango are doing a lot of those at the moment. And this cute little um, mini skirt, but I loved that this one was elasticated at the back, partly because as most of us are, spending a lot of time at home and I'm definitely gravitating to those items in my wardrobe which just add a little bit more comfortable, give it a little bit more, you know, like ease around the waistline and um, yeah, I just thought this would be super comfortable but you can also equally put a belt around it if you wanted to. Uh, equally, as well as the dungarees, it feels super soft so I think this one would be just a really relaxing item to be able to wear whilst feeling just that little bit normal and put together. And it also looks like it's going to be a really nice length. So it is really comfortable around the waist, but it's not quite as like easy flowing moving as I had hoped. I already have denim skirts like this in my wardrobe, so I just didn't really need another one, or I don't really need another one. I was hoping that this would be the kind of thing that I could like lounge in on the sofa and just be totally chilled, but it's not quite like that. It's definitely a skirt that you're going to go out in and kind of just be like a little bit more structured and then you can easily like sit down it's still movable i'm making it sound really unmovable but it's not the um the area and the waist is really nice it does give quite a little bit so you're easily going to be able to like go and sit down in a park or for a picnic or that kind of thing but for me personally i already have one like it and i think size wise if you're wanting a mini skirt stay true to size if you're wanting something a little bit more comfortable, which perhaps maybe I should have gone for, then I would recommend sizing up. It'll just be a little bit bigger, but because of the waistband being stretchy, it'll probably still fit you quite tight around the waist. And now on to the bits from H&M. I'm actually wearing one of the pieces that I digged out this beautiful dress. I will do a full length of it, but actually I think this one is pretty much sold out. Um, but you can always like subscribe to um, see if it comes back in stock but I actually have a dress in the same print here so let me show you that one first. As I said I'm not going to talk about this one for too long because I don't know what sizes they have in stock. I ordered this quite a little while ago um, but I would recommend actually with this dress to stay with your normal size even though you might want to um, size down because it's already oversized but I think having it quite oversized makes it look that little bit more effortless. Um, it is just like that very free-flowing, free easy dress, and it is so comfortable. So this one is that same gorgeous print. I think this print that H&M bought out was so, so pretty. But actually, this dress I feel like is a little bit more versatile because this one's so baggy. There's like certain places where you can wear it, whereas this one I think you could wear all of the time. It is slightly mini, but again, I don't think it's going to be too mini. I love the little puff sleeves and... I don't know if this irritates anybody else either, but sometimes with these sleeves, I can find by the end of the day, they're like a bit itchy and irritating. These feel so soft and just like they've got like a good give to them. Feels like it might have linen in it, but I'm not sure. Linen blend, yes it does. It feels, feels gorgeous. It feels like it would be perfect on a hot summer's day. And I picked up this one in a size eight. I really hope that that one fits because it's so pretty and there's the gorgeous like mother of pearl buttons on it as well. I love it. I pretty much don't know what to say about this one apart from I love it. I straight away put it on and felt really good. I just felt comfortable in it. I felt relaxed in it. There's a, those items that you put on and you just feel like yeah this is me. I like this. I could wear this every day and be really comfortable in it. The sleeves are so comfortable like I said they really are unbelievably comfortable but still get that really nice effect print is just so pretty um it's mini but again not too too short um you'll be absolutely fine wearing this kind of wherever you want to go i guess if i had to give it a, a, a like a rating out of 10 it would only get nine because i feel like the uh, v-neck is just a little bit a little bit restricting maybe a little bit too tight but then i think that gives it like the feminine elegant look to it so yeah pretty pretty much just love this one.
So this top I actually picked up for home days, sunbathing, being out in the garden because I wanted something that had barely any straps or I could also possibly just take the straps down and wear it as a bit more of a bandeau top. I thought this colour was really, really pretty, that kind of caramel brown colour. Uh, the one thing that I will say though is it feels a bit like polyester, so it doesn't feel like it's going to be overly breathable. I got this one in a size 10 because I didn't want it to be too tight with the hot days. Let me just check what it actually is. Yes, it's 100% polyester and you can kind of feel it, but I love the little ruffles there. We'll have to see what it feels like on. It kind of speaks for itself. It's just a really basic, lovely bandeau top that you'll be able to wear kind of whilst relaxing, but also you could easily dress this one up. I think it would look gorgeous with some really like statement earrings, some nice, um, that can be even smart trousers for a night out. I think that these little straps are so, so gorgeous. I think that actually they make the top look that a little bit more sexy, but they are so easy to bring down as well if you just wanted to have it as a bando top and obviously it stays up really easily like that too. And the colour, the colour is just so, so pretty. So I also bought a few bikinis. Again, if you watched our latest vlog, you'll know that we were supposed to be in Menorca um, on the 1st of July. And I was kind of panicking because our flights, our holiday wasn't getting cancelled. And for a minute, I thought that we were going to be on that cusp where everything was going to reopen and everybody was going to start going on holiday. So I did panic buy some bikinis. I got this really just like simple, gorgeous black one, but I thought that it would be kind of comfortable because it is it's like an, it's more of a material fabric than a, a like swimming suit fabric. I don't know if that's going to last very well, uh, but it is padded inside. And then it has these little tortoiseshell details just here on the straps. And I thought this one would be quite nice for some bathing, so I'm pretty sure I could probably take down the straps a little bit. And then I picked up some quite high waisted bottoms to go with that. I don't know how flattering these are going to be. Um, I'll like put some text up here on what I think of it, but I will say that I'm not going to be trying on the bikinis because I just, just don't know if that feels right online. <laughs> I definitely gravitated in this order to some nice tops. So many of you commented in my last um, fashion video, which I think was um, a H&M one, that you loved a black top that I was wearing. It was from Mint Velvet, but this one is pretty much the same in white. I think they also have it in black, but I obviously have the black one. Picked this one up in small. Again, it's got this kind of like seersucker design on the whole of the body. The one thing that I'm not sure about on this one is actually inside, it does have like a little thing to puff the shoulders up. And I'm not sure if that's gonna be too much or also if it's just gonna be a bit uncomfortable with the fabric, but it looks really pretty and you just can't go wrong with a white top over summer. I wear them all of the time. I like the sleeves. I actually think that little bit of height just looks quite nice where it's not too much. Also, you could take them out. I think they'd be super easy to take out if you didn't want them slightly puffed. It's literally just a little bit of material there. And also I reckon if you um, iron them down slightly, they could go down a little bit. I like it, I think it's actually really nice. And because they're not actual like shoulder pads, they're really, really comfortable. It's just a little bit of extra fabric in there. It doesn't feel weighty, it doesn't feel like it's gonna be kind of like sticky in the heat. Really nice, I can see myself wearing this one all of the time because I wear the black one that I have so, so often. Um, I find this kind of silhouette really, really flattering, kind of like, pulls you in in all of the best places, um, but also just has like a nice sleeve to it and a gorgeous neckline. I picked up this one pretty much solely because of the print, just, and the colors, aren't the colors absolutely stunning? But again, kind of like a versatile top. It looks quite cropped, so something that I'd wear with um, perhaps that mini skirt that looks quite high-waisted, or equally some shorts, but I actually thought that this print out of a lot of prints was quite versatile. You can wear it with so many different colours and also because it's quite pale, um, it's not like that bold print that I think you'll get bored of quite quickly. I'm not sure if I said, but I got that one in a size small. It's nice on and actually I feel like in some lights it could be mistaken as just quite a plain white top. It's not until you get a little bit closer that you can see the detail and the pattern on it. The only thing I will say is that I've had to tuck it in and I don't know whether I got the right size because it seems to fit me everywhere else, but when it's untucked, it's just, it's really, really roomy um, around the elasticity area. I kind of thought that this was gonna pull in, um, but there's, there's a huge amount of room if I was to do that. So it would need to be tucked in 
which sometimes I think is a little bit annoying on high-waisted items because, well, you don't, don't want to, there's not that much room to tuck them in so it could keep popping out. So my only reserve with it, and I'm just not sure, because there's, I don't know if you can see, but there's so much, so much fabric there that I don't even think going down a size would fix that. I think it's just the fact that the top for me have been made like that. So I suppose if you don't like crop tops feeling tight on you, this would probably really work for you. But if you want to not have to tuck them in, then I don't think it's the one for you. I also got this one with holiday in mind, so a pair of shorts, by the way, we're not going on our holiday, it has been cancelled now. Um, I picked up these in size 10, I bought a pair of white shorts, which I absolutely adored from H&M, I have been wearing them non-stop, I just love them, um, and I thought that these would kind of be the same, but I'm actually, I'm just not sure on the colour of these, um, I don't know why, but for some reason that sandy colour isn't, I don't know, it's not, I think, I would have either liked them paler or darker. They're kind of like that in between that I'm not sure I love. But we'll see when we try them on. It's always the things that I'm not sure about that I love the most. These are so darn comfy. It makes me want to keep them just for the comfort level. Um, they're actually quite soft. I don't know, they just feel good on. I'm starting to even like the colour. Um, maybe it's because actually I think with a little bit of tan and with the white it looks quite nice. It's giving that kind of like safari feel. I'd love to try this one on with a belt um, and see what it looks like with a belt on too. Yeah, I'm kind of not sure about these because initially I wasn't sure about them but actually trying them on they just they feel really really lovely on. Can you tell that I went for a lot of florals? I picked this one up in a size small, if that's what it's telling me. And oh my gosh, how pretty. I do like things that are just a little bit off the shoulder, um, especially as we're going to more people's gardens at the moment and sitting in their gardens. Though I don't want to be like in a bikini, I do like to get my shoulders out. And this print, I mean, how gorgeous. So gorgeous. It's got all of the pretty, like basically all of my favorite colors in it. So it's got a three quarter length sleeve. It's obviously off the shoulder. And then it kind of um, comes in in the middle. And I feel like, I feel like this is just going to be that little bit longer than midi length. It's got two tiers to it at the end. It's got that lovely flowy feeling to it. But actually I must say, um, having picked out some of the mango things before, you do kind of get what you pay for. The mango dresses are lined underneath. The materials are a really nice cotton. Whereas this feels like a lot more of a polyester, but I guess it just depends what you're looking for. I love dresses, but I don't know if I can keep all of these. I go a little bit over the top of dresses in the summer. <laughs> I'm not really doing this dress justice because it needs a little bit of steam, but it feels so good on. I love the off the shoulder, it makes it feel just really effortless. But at the same time, I feel like really put together and semi-smart in it. It just ruches over a little bit here, which I think is really nice because I sometimes think that these bands where it's just elasticated around your waist can look a little bit cheap, but I love that the material just kind of flows over it slightly. Equally, you could wear this with a belt and put it in a little bit more. Two tiers, I think, look really pretty at the bottom, especially because it's a little bit more fitted here, which I think is quite nice. And then it frills out at the bottom and will have some quite nice movement at the bottom. The sleeves are really gorgeous. I've just pulled them up slightly there so that kind of like shows you what they look like down. I don't think they're really meant to be worn like that, but they're really comfortable pulled up slightly to about your elbow length. I just already know that I am going to love this top. I think it's the material. The material is absolutely gorgeous. Um, really, really soft. And again, this is a cropped top. It comes in really nicely. I like how they've done like three little bits of elastic there. I don't know if you can see that. With a frill down the bottom. It's quite plain and quite simple. But again, that classic. For the summer wardrobe, you'll be able to wear this with so much jeans, skirts, shorts, really, really easy piece to chuck on with absolutely everything. And I am just hoping that it's not going to be too see-through. Okay, another bikini. I actually bought this one in mind that I could wear it in the garden at home, as well as kind of anywhere that I went abroad. I <laughs> love the frills all around. The edges here, these are that they're going to be um, quite flattering bottoms actually. And I just, I do love this colour. Bando, I don't have very many bando bikinis and that's why I was looking for one. I thought that this would be quite nice to be able to wear with high-waisted shorts when I'm pottering around the garden just to be getting a little bit of sun. But equally, you can wear it, you know, when you're hopefully maybe sometime soon by a pool. 
And then last but not least, another white top. <laughs> I definitely had a thing for white tops. It's no funny in this order. Uh, this one is actually a linen. It says, no, it's not a linen blend. It says it's premium quality natural linen. And I picked this one up in the size medium, which I feel like maybe I should have gone for a small. It does have that beautiful linen feel to it where it's quite like crinkly. It's gonna be beautiful when it's hot and sticky outside though. Um, it comes in at the back there and kind of like probably pulls you in slightly and it's got the darts at the front. So I feel like this one might be quite fitted and the same. Definitely, I, I really don't have to keep all of these white tops because I pretty much got um, three of nearly the same thing. And they're all kind of different. One has longer sleeves, one's, you know, natural linen, one's a bit more cropped. I actually can't decide on this one. I don't think it's quite sitting right on me. So it's quite tight around here, but then here it seems quite loose. And I don't know, it doesn't look baggy, but I've had to do up the bow quite tight. Um, whereas I feel like that's quite a nice feature and maybe it should be open a little bit. But if it was open, I'd have a lot of space just up here. I have tried like pulling down the top, but then that pulls on the shoulders. So yeah, I'm not quite sure this one suits my body type. I don't know whether that would just be um, me or whether perhaps you guys have felt the same if you bought this one. It's lovely and long in length, which means that if you're going to wear it under something um, high-waisted like this, you have quite a lot of room to be able to tuck it in, it's not going to be coming out. And it does have quite an expensive look and feel to it, probably because it's linen, which is why I kind of like it. I love the style of it, I'm just not sure if this this part's gonna become a little bit irritating. And that is everything that I have picked up recently. Well done if you got to the end of this video. I think my favorite was actually maybe the first dress that I pulled out, which was your favorite item. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to, if you were new. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.